Hey everyone. I usually don't do lives, but I thought I'd try it out today since it is my special day and all. Today is my birthday, for those of you who don't know. Yeah, um, today is July 19th, 2022, and I was born today on July 19th. All right, so, see this is all new to me, so bear with me, I'm sorry. I'm reading what's on my screen. It says we're telling owners that you've started. Okay, so they're notifying the few followers that I have that I'm going live. So if any of you would like to join in, now's your chance. I don't know if I'll be on long. I probably won't, but just trying something out. I figured I'd try something out today, something that I have never done before. What else? Okay. Anyway, I guess I should make this video worth your time. So, yes, today is my birthday. I'm spending it alone as of right now. I recently had COVID for the second time, but I'm all better now. I took an at home test yesterday and I tested negative. So, yeah, I'm glad that's over. But honestly, it wasn't that bad these last couple of weeks or week and a half. And the first time wasn't bad, the first time I had COVID, and the second time wasn't as bad as the first time. I've had colds that were worse. So, yeah, so maybe now I have a natural immunity to COVID. I don't know. Maybe not. I've known someone who's had it three times. I've never heard of anyone having it more than that. I don't even know if I'm allowed to say COVID on this live. <laughs> oh, well, I did. So if you want to ban me or take down my video, then so be it. <laughs> so um, I did release an episode of my podcast, Authentically Us, last week with my guest Tracy. We did it, we recorded it earlier this year, and I was just dealing with a lot, you know, launching the business and dealing with life that I didn't have a chance to release the second episode. But for those of you who may have wondered, hey, what happened to part two? Part two is now out now. You can listen to it on Spotify, so... I think you'll enjoy it. If you're a 90s fan, if you like to reminisce on yesteryear, I think you'll enjoy it. The first one, part one, we covered world events that took place during the 90s. And the second one, part two, was about music and movies, television, 90s television. And we, you know, had a great time recording it. So I'm sure you'll enjoy it. So definitely check out the podcast. It's called Authentically Us. And I've decided that I would like to try something new with the podcast. I know I'm on my life coaching channel right now, but I try to have all three of my Instagram channels interlinked. But yeah, I'm going to try out video podcasting. Video podcasting has become pretty popular over the last couple of years, and it was something that I've always wanted to try, but I didn't think that I was quite ready for it or if I had the right setup. But I see a lot of people are doing it, and sometimes their setups aren't extravagant, but you know, they're putting themselves out there. And I thought it might make it a little easier on me because the editing process takes a lot of my time. Post-production, I spend more time in post-production than actually recording. That's how much goes into it. So hopefully this will lighten my load a bit and I can produce better content.
let's see, what else? I don't think anyone's in the live, but that's okay. If you want to stop in and say hello, you can. I might try going live on my other channel too and seeing what happens. <laughs> yeah, no one really wants to talk to me, right? <laughs> Not even on my birthday. <laughs> oh, um, so yes, the next episode I'm having a guest on. We're going to record the episode on Thursday, and it's going to be a video episode. And po Spotify now does video, too, so you can look for it on there. But the theme, the topic, is going to be on the American dream. A lot of people have been talking about the American dream and if it still exists or if it has ever existed at all. But a lot of people are letting go of the American dream. So it'll be an interesting discussion and feel free to send any questions that you might have or any things related to that topic that you would like to discuss. And I'll see if I can share this on my other channels too, if I can upload this live. So another year of life. <laughs> yep. Got me to thinking, though. Last night, I went to bed around midnight, so as it was changing over to the next day, July 19, I was thinking about life and what is something in my life that I would like to change? How do I want to try to get the most out of life and start living my life better? than I did the last year or prior to that. So I'm trying to focus more on my purpose in life. And that doesn't really necessarily have to involve making a lot of money or gaining a large following, but what is it that, why am I here? Why are we here? What is our purpose? I believe that we all have a purpose. Some of us never realize what our purpose is, but I believe that if we do actually make an effort to find out what our purpose is in life, that it will reveal itself at the right time. So that's what I'm focusing more on now and not necessarily having a lot of success or money. You know, don't get me wrong, those things are great because it gives you more options and you're available to reach more people. But at the end of the day, you know, we usually end our days alone or with our spouse or significant other. And it's good to know that you're living out your purpose while you're here and not realizing what could have been when it's too late. So I'm really looking into that now, trying to discover what that is. You know, and at different points in our life, I believe that things can change too. Maybe for a certain amount of time or a certain chapter of our lives we might spend time in we may we might devote our time to another area which is fine but there comes a time when we have to start a new chapter almost like a book our lives are chapters different chapters in our lives and it can be a little fearful you know the thought of actually starting a new one because you never know how things are going to turn out. You can only hope and do your best and hope for the best, right? So I encourage all of you to find your purpose, really focus on what your purpose is. That's another um, part of living authentically, which is what my life coaching business is based on. Finding your purpose, because your purpose, that's authentic to who you are. No one else can live out your purpose but you. So you definitely want to, even if you don't work with me, 
we spend time alone or in nature trying to, I'm sorry, that's our clock right there. It's going, it's chiming right now. It chimes every hour. I'm sorry. There's another one here too that you might hear. I think it needs a new battery. So don't be alarmed. <laughs> no pun intended. So today is my birthday. Feel free to send me a birthday wish. I would greatly appreciate that. I know I don't have many subscribers or followers on this channel, but you can send me a birthday wish. Yeah, so uh, yeah, I'm I'm excited about the video podcast and seeing if that's the direction that I would like to continue um, going in. I'm a little nervous about it because I've never done anything like this before. So fingers crossed that in prayers <laughs> that everything goes okay with it. I, I want things to go smooth, smoothly. So yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. Yeah, the sun's out right now. It's not too hot out. I know a lot of the country is dealing with record heat right now. But here where I live, I'm in Florida, I think it's maybe in the high 80s right now. We had some rain in the forecast for later on today, but I don't know if it's going to rain. I hope not. I just had dinner, and I was going to work out after dinner, so... Within an hour, I'd like to start my workout, and I'd like to spend the evening outside and maybe ride my bike or go to the baseball field where I like to walk. Today, I'll probably run a couple of laps, then walk the rest of the way. I know it's my birthday, so I shouldn't overdo it, trying to plan everything out and be productive. I'm not being too hard on myself, but I finally did my nails today. I keep them short because I play guitar. Not really well, but not very well, but I still like to play, so I prefer to keep my nails short. But I do like long nails, but I can't imagine actually playing guitar with long nails. Dolly Parton does it. I don't know how she does it. She plays better than I do with those with her long fingernails, so yeah. Yeah, so if you have some topics that you would like for me to discuss on the show, feel free to um, send those to me too. Some of the topics that I would like to discuss are the American Dream, Modern Women. I, I did a show on that back in 2020 called the classy lady versus the bad B. But I think I need to do an updated version of that. Everybody's talking about modern women and feminism now. I'm not a feminist. I've never have never been a feminist, but a lot of people are talking about it and realizing that I don't know. Sometimes being more traditional isn't such a bad thing. And I have traditional values, too. Even though some of my values might be more on the liberal side, for the most part, a lot of my values are conservative. And that's okay. And when I say conservative, that doesn't mean that I'm a Republican waving a Trump flag or Trump sign. I'm not a Trump supporter or a Biden supporter, especially not a Biden supporter at this point. Never have been because I knew his track record prior to him um, getting elected back in 2020. But enough about politics. Today's my birthday. You know, one of my birthday memories that I'm thinking about right now, this was back in 2015, so that is seven years ago today. I was out in California working out there, and I was living, um, the company that I worked for provided housing for us that we were paying for, but 
there was a c- older couple there. They were maybe in their 40s at the time. I was in my 30s, telling you how old I am. But yeah, um, I wasn't expecting this at all because I didn't really get along with a lot of the people that were, a lot of the other people that were there. But she was nice enough. This was his wife. She baked a cake for me. I happened to mention that it was my birthday, and she baked a little cake for me. It was very nice of her to do that. I'll, I'll never forget that. This was before um, I started my transition, so I was presenting mail at the time. But yeah, that was a nice birthday gift that they gave me, that she baked, a cake that she baked for me. What's another one? Oh, last year when I had that milestone birthday, remember that? Yeah, the video is on my Instagram channel. I did buy a cake today. I I picked up a cake. I don't know if my sister and her nephew, or my nephew, excuse me, (laughs) her son, are going to come by and sing happy birthday to me. It would be nice, but my parents are out of town right now. They're They won't be back until the weekend, so they won't be able to make it for that. But if they don't, then I'll just sing happy birthday to myself, I guess. (laughs) Yeah. I'm sorry. (laughs) Trying to read. Yeah, I don't think anyone's in the live. I'm I'm checking because I don't want to ignore anyone or think that I'm ignoring them. I wouldn't do that, but yeah, today is my birthday, and I don't know about you, but my birthday, it feels like a holiday to me. I know that July 19th is not a holiday. I don't think it is anywhere in any country, but it's always been a hol- seem it seemed like a holiday for me because it's my birthday. It was the day that I was born. So one of my favorite holidays of the year is July 19th. Why? Because it's my birthday. <laughs> okay, so I don't know when I'll be able to release the episode that the video episode that I'm recording. Hopefully I'll have it out by the weekend, but it should be very interesting. We're going to have a conversation about the American dream, so definitely be looking out for that. And if you're looking for a life coach or you know someone who is looking for a life coach, have them reach out to me. They can go to my website at authenticallyuslc.com to schedule a discovery call with me, or if you have questions, you can DM me here on Instagram too. I promise I'll get back to you. All right. Well, everyone have a great day and happy birthday to me.